y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun and highly requested video. And I get this question all the time, which is, I followed all the instructions, but why the heck is my heat transfer vinyl not sticking to my shirt? Now, I made notes on this, so if you see me looking down at my phone, it's because I did actually make notes because I couldn't sleep the other night thinking about this. Because there are a lot of different variables on why it may not work. Number one, not using a new unwashed shirt. A lot of people don't know that fabric softener can mess with the adhesion of vinyl on a shirt. And when I say adhesion, I mean, does it stick? And even though you're like, well, I don't use downy, so why should it matter if I wash the shirt? Do you use laundry pods? Because most of those have fabric softener built in. Now you can use fabric softener after the fact if your vinyl's applied correctly, but a new unwashed shirt is going to be your best friend, especially when you're starting out to make sure your, all of your variables are correct whenever applying your heat transfer. Number two, time, temperature, and pressure are all equally important. Now, when you're using a home iron or an easy press, pressure can be difficult to tell. But one of the things I always tell people is whenever you're applying heat transfer vinyl, especially like your basics like Thermoflex Plus or Caesar Easy Weed, you can see the texture of your shirt come through when you have enough pressure. Following the manufacturer's guidelines for how long to heat and what temperature to heat will also make your job a whole lot easier. I'm trying to keep my phone unlocked, sorry. Number three, your heat presser iron may not be heating correctly. Now we have at our shop a heat gun that we take and you point it at like the platen on your heat press and it'll tell you if it's getting even heat. You can do the same thing with your iron because especially like with an iron that doesn't have a di digital thermostat it is very difficult to tell what your temperature is at on it and even on your heat press if it says your heat press is set at 330 degrees on that thermostat you think well maybe it is 330 degrees but that doesn't mean that whole platen which is the bottom side that gets hot is heating evenly and correctly so being able to know how to judge if that vinyl is adhered so working with your basics before jumping into glitter and holographic will help you because you'll learn how to apply it okie dokie number four faulty vinyl now this can happen a lot off of when you buy vinyl off of amazon or off of ebay from not reputable sites or reputable people they may tell you they're selling you Caesar Easy Weed and you get it and you've done 5,000 shirts and you're applying it the exact same way and you wash it and it comes right off. Well, it may not be the vinyl that you think you're buying. So just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's going to work. And that vinyl may have been sitting, and it may be Caesar Easy Weed, but it may be Caesar Easy Weed from 10 years ago because the longer it sits, it doesn't, like it can, vinyl can go bad. And a lot of people don't know that. Vinyl can go bad. Um, not keeping it in proper climate controlled environments, like your adhesives and stuff like that, it can mess up over time. A lot of people don't know this. Number five. Wrong vinyl for the wrong material. Now, they make vinyls for polyester, for nylons. Thermoflex Plus can be used on polyester. It can be used on cotton. It can be used on spandex. But there are instructions that tell you what type of material that it will stick to. So if you're using a vinyl that is made for nylon on cotton, when you go to wash it, it may not stay because it is not made for that material just so you know number six and this is pretty much the last one and if y'all have anything to add let me know but number six is layering vinyl that can't be layered now you think oh 
I've got Thermaflex Plus. I can layer neon blue on top of neon green. Nope, neon colors are not supposed to be layered. That will make it where it comes off. There are certain colors and it is on our website and it will be on the manufacturer's website. It will tell you what can and cannot be layered. If you layer something that is not supposed to be layered, you're doing it at your own risk because it is not made to do that, so it probably will mess up. It's like putting a piece of glitter over another piece of glitter. If it's not made to be layered, eventually it will wash off, just so you know. Now, these are the six things that I remembered off the top of my head and we talked about and tried to make sure that we included everything. If I'm missing something, leave it in the comments down below. If you have friends that do heat transfer vinyl, share this information with them. This is a video that is of great importance because even if you've been doing it a long time, some of these facts you may not know and you may know some stuff that I don't. But don't forget to check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. Um, it's a great place to know a little bit more about me over there. We do makeup and Disney and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, also tomorrow, Tuesday, we have live at five every Tuesday. We do live Q and A at 5 PM. So if you have questions about today's video, come check me out tomorrow and ask. Um, other than that, we do have an Oracle 651, which is not a heat transfer and it is an adhesive vinyl still going on our, on our website. They're typically $2 and 50 cents each for the 12 inch by 24 inch pieces. They are on sale for $1 and 75 cents. But I guess that's it, so we shall see y'all tomorrow for live.